What's up, everyone? Welcome back to this part. Uh, this part. I'm going home walkthrough. And uh, see what's popping. Just recently discovered that there was actually a secret entrance um, in the parents' room. But, um, Sam's dark. Who's not answer? Yeah, whatever. Who cares about Sam? But, um, alright, so we're gonna go back to his parents' bedroom. Check out this secret. Here. It's weird. Ooh, here we go. Straight right here. Pretty weird, huh? Continue in here. See a damn thing. I see a light panel right here, so let's just Ah, yes, Dr. Elisa Mendina. Wonderful books. I wonder if this is the, uh, um, combination to her locker. Four, four, five. Okay, I'm not going to go over there right now. <laughs> wasn't expecting to hear that. Okay, okay. Switch sounds like a powerhouse. So actually, I guess the combinations for this. So.
I don't know how important that is, so... God, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. So, go back down the hallway where this TV is. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Let me find out she's a Street Fighter fan. Actually, she is. Alright, so we have... I don't understand this game, like... Sometimes I just get some horrible frame, to, uh, frame rate drops. The Northwest Weather Service reports high... Nobody cares. Okay, so... Uh, what should we do now? Let's turn on. Um, it doesn't break. Shots. Uh, 
Alright, so let's see if um, so there's some other secret rooms, I think, that was going on. What's this? Here. Uh, let's go back into the dad's office and see what's up with this other spot right here. Um, exactly on my left. I think it's this one. Just not. It is this way. Okay. Dad's office is going through. Here, we we'll bust to left. Panel, it's right here. Just throw the panel wherever we want. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. Hmm. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook-up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Okay. Okay, so there's another panel right over here, so those, that's where we're gonna go. Um, yeah, let's go back upstairs. I wish there was a run button on this. the uh, completed locker. And... Nice poster. And we're going to end the video right here. Check out from the next walkthrough. Um, yeah, so far it's... Uh, I'm still on the fence about this game. So I'll check out for the next walkthrough. Peace.